One thing that really winds me up about you, though, you never actually clean up after yourself. Just one thing. I mean, I know you're in America, and I'm supposed to be speaking to you by a satellite, but you look at the way your state you left your house. That was weeks ago, that was. <laughs> um, right, live from America, hello ladies and gentlemen. Hello, everyone, or, or should I say howdy? Hi, y'all. <laughs> Hi, y'all. How no, are you in how you San doing? Diego, isn't it in California? Uh, how you doing? That's uh, Boston. What am I? Um, no, I'm in San Diego, of course. That's in California. The, uh, Aren't they all like mellow and stuff? I'm at the Craft Brewers Conference. Hey, man. Uh, yeah, that's it. Yeah, they're all laid back. I've just been surfing, Trev. Have you? Can you tell? I've got my. I've got are you all my, buffed and stuff? I've got my. Oh, yeah, totally. Oh, um, yeah, no, I'm totally, um, totally into it now. I'm into Hang on, I'm just putting a satellite straight. I eat, uh, I eat fruit for breakfast now. Really? Uh, and I go down to, um, what's it called? Um, oh, Manage Beach. Beach. Yeah, that's me. I'm there all the time now. Isn't that in Los Angeles? Yeah, all right, small point. It's only up the coast. F R cut on the moss. <laughs> yeah, it's a good run, isn't it? That's why it's a buff. Right. right. Uh, anyway, hello everyone. Welcome to uh, this uh, transatlantic episode. Funny uh, thing is, of uh, beer this service. sunk here, it's lasted for weeks. I don't know. Why. <laughs> <laughs> It's worth it, isn't it? I tell you, age Santeri. Because I'm worth it. Listen, it's another, it's another, um, it's another beer in a box episode. Beer in a box. Beer in a box. Not, not like beer your dad's box. wine. No, not, no, no, yeah. <laughs> what did he box. call it? Dusty off. <laughs> Dusty off. <laughs> Do you remember that? That was a good episode, wasn't it? Should we check out the link of that if you missed that one. That was a doozy. Dusty Hoffman. Um, and, and that classic episode where, I think it was the same episode where I said, what's that smell of? And he went, beer. <laughs> oh. Very insightful, your old man. Oh, totally. Now, everyone, just, it's wrapped up well, Trev. Mm. I'll be with you in a minute, everyone. Is there anything in there? there Ooh. Is. Now. She may. Yeah, now, listen. The thing is, I'm not going to show you yet. The thing is, that this is obviously, if you're watching this, you probably know about this. Yeah, exactly. Everybody knows about uh, this. Because this is kind of like... This is one of the first beers you bought me, you know, down a pub. It's cold in San Diego today, you know. Mm. People don't think it's cold it's here. Fun, it's it cold is. in Sweden, so... It is. Is it really? Yeah. <laughs> about the same temperature? Yeah. Um, the, um, the thing about Chimay Blue um, is that... Uh, which is... Uh, Chimay Blue of, is, the, is the big daddy of the, of, the, of the range, as it were. It's the quadruple, okay? Uh, we've, got the, we've got the white, we've got the red, and we've got the blue. Um, is that this is kind of like right of passage stuff to me. I think if you enter the beer world in any sort of way, um, at some point in your early beer career, you're going to stumble across. You, you did this. You, when we started out, we, we were down at the pub and you said, right, let's get you started. It was something worth yeah. that effect. And I said, and you got me one of them. Exactly. And I, and I, I liked often, it. I do a lot of beer tastings, as you know, all over the country, all over the, all over the, all over the place, actually. It's the, the gateway world. beer. All over the world, gateway beer. And this is uh, a beer that I often, often actually crack open because I think it really does, um, uh, really does sort of typify, typify the style. Absolutely. Uh, we used the word benchmark before in an episode weeks ago. Do you remember? <laughs> and um, do you like that show? That was clever. Um, I just gave the game away. Um, and um, it really, this is it. This is this is to me the archetypal uh, quadruple, um, a Trappist, of course. Uh, I'm going to skip through very quickly what that is because. I understand I've had a few complaints over the last week that we talk too much, Trev. Really? Yeah, I personally... Now, I, where did anybody get that from? I don't know, but um, YouTube have been on the phone again. Saying, <laughs> that, you know, well, are although, we filling up YouTube? Apparently, it's apparently almost full. <laughs> we have to delete some of our videos. Otherwise, the whole thing's going to fact. Actually, I think actually the, the actual internet might be cut, full the up. The internet. Have you noticed? I've noticed definitely from America where I am. It's, it's full up. Down. Oh, it's really? Like, it's so up. watching the internet from America internet is slower, out. is it? We're going to have to pour a little bit of the internet I, out. I wonder what that's for, uh, why, why that is. I don't know. They invented the bloody thing and they can't get it running. Uh, it's totally full. And uh, I think we're going to need to we need to actually <laughs> empty a little bit of the internet. <laughs> so I'm not going to go on too much about I'll it. Tell you what, this is very topical. Beer and techno jokes. Yeah, oh, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, but this is the thing about this particular beer, Go on in. Um, and, and I'm going to spin it around. If you can zoomy zoom, while I'm from America, I'm going to spin. And if you in Sweden can actually zoom at the same time, just think how wonderful that would be. What can you Whoa. see? What can you see? What can 2003. You see? Exactly. Exa exactly. Uh, that is the point of this beer. This is a 2003 bottle of Chimay Blue. And here's the kicker. In June you didn't of this just year, find it by the road. In June of this year, no, in June of this year, it literally just came to me in a box. Uh, in June of this year, 
uh, there's going to be a very small release of these at the System of Vintage 2003 Shimei Blues. I'm telling you now, warm up your engines, uh, mark the date in your diary, um, and get yourself down to System Belaget or online or whatever it takes for you to be able to get hold of this because 2003 and it's actually a beautiful temperature um, it's just obviously in San Diego it's quite warm. Of course it's got a bit warm in the post. Yeah, it's got a bit warm in the post um, so it really is a perfect little temperature. Um, I'm a bit concerned when I open it because this is very live and often uh, very sort of a volcanic um, you can get a bit of a gusher. What exactly is the significance of 2003? Is it a special vintage or is it just that they no, 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 it's, it's, ju it's just that they've actually obviously re released. No, no, I mean, it's a, it, obviously they're, they're producing this every year. Um, what's fun about this particular release is that they've taken all that strain out of us having to apply willpower and leave our bottles of Chimay Blue alone this long. Um, so it's going to be interesting to actually try this. Now listen, I've written about Chimay Blue. Uh, it's absolutely one of my highest rated beers of all time. But I've got a couple of questions. Go. Um, when you say vintage, do you think they've, they've like had it in vats, or has it been bottled, or is it, no, what, what it exactly? Been, it would have been bottled, I'm sure. It would you have think, been bottled. But do you, you think they deliberately kept this 2003 for some reason? That's what I'm getting at. Why 2003? Yeah, I don't know. Uh, to be honest with you, I don't know whether they kept it at the brewery. Um, I presume that they've actually bottled it and then um, and then uh, released it. Uh, okay. Pretty clever thing to do, to be honest with you. Don't you think? It's a pretty clever thing to do, I would have thought. Um, if if they've done actually, it, if, they, if, if, if this it's fall, a deliberate fall, sort yeah. of forward forth. For, forethought. Um, anyway, listen, what the interesting thing to be able to do is... I'm oh, sorry, Lewis Hamilton just went by. Oh, okay, what, in, in, in America a... or Sweden? No, um, here, because I'm here. Oh, I see. Right. Uh, so listen, what we're going to do is very interesting to see what uh, 2003 to uh, nine years has done to the beer, okay? But aren't they pretty? Watch. I don't. Want to, I don't want to use a similar word. But aren't they pretty similar? Every, uh, reliable every year. Very. What very, you see is what you get. Very, very reliable. Um, That's darker than I remember. It's darker, um, and it's very. Um, oh, it's just stunning stuff. Um, it's. Um, it's quite um, sort of a little bit cloudy there. When I say a little Hang bit, on. quite cloudy. Can you see that? Yeah. Yeah. I gave that a little little whirl there. Do you see that, Trevor? Mm. Um, Another surreptitious one. Yeah, just a very small one. Quite a professional looking world, there, Because I'm in the southern hemisphere. It's a lot I? darker than I remember. It's going down the right way. Let's what not... if I haven't been drinking out of the bottle? <laughs> I've not noticed how dark it was. I'm serious. You've been drinking Chimay Blue out of the bottle? Okay. Well, well you, that, that's the way I roll, mate. We still have to learn, Pad One. Uh, now, listen. Um, this is stunning. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. And I, I, I can tell you what it smells like, Jeff. In fact, you've got to smell it. Plums. Plums, plums, raisins, but mainly plums. A prune juice. Prune juice? Uh, prune so? juice is good. Prune juice. Lots Prunes. and lots of prune uh, juice. Actually, what I want to know is, when we're standing here filming, why does your family keep coming up? We've got another one. And interrupting. Now I've got to introduce her too. Uh, come here. Like, Wait, come here. Like, quick, how quick. many episodes ago was that? That was like four episodes ago. Yeah, exactly. Um, now the wife's come home, mm. and can she's I, got to come up to the camera and say hello. Not in front of the camera. Can I get the beer back? Anyway, listen, uh, let's crunch through this. Um, it's had, as I say, it's had nine years, eight, nine years on the, on, in the bottle, um, or, or being aged, uh, and it's, uh, hello there, hello. He's <laughs> actually in front uh, of the camera, uh, hello. Very shy, very shy, a bit like us. Hello. Jeff, a hello. Bit like, um, listen, um, it's got, um, it's got, uh, as I say, eight, nine years on the, on, 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 uh, in the bottle. What's that done to the beer? Well, normally what it does is it, it, it all that sort of marzipan freshness of it when it's first bottled, uh, obviously seeps away. Um, the monks themselves actually recommend, I think, that you know that you look, uh, you don't start drinking it till about sort of six months and then beyond. Very ageable beer, of course. In terms of alcohol, for up to nine, nine something. Uh, so it's, it's quite a sort of boozy style, of course, uh, a, a, a Belgian quadruple, um, and you get these kind of madeiry sort of woody sort of notes that are coming out into the beer, and that's exactly what we're smelling here. Um, but there's this lovely fruitiness to it. Age, there's respect. There's sort of pondus, which would be a Swedish word, but involved in this beer when you gravitas. smell it. Gravitas, yeah. Gravitas, isn't it? Gravitas. gravitas yes, it. it really is a very, very sort of um, sort of austere sort of beer, and it smells that way. And you sort of you know that you're in for something pretty special when you smell it. Which is weird, considering that you were spot on about prune juice. Because when I think of prune juice, I think about opening the cans we used to get and drinking the juice out after you took the prunes out, which is not very sophisticated. It's not really, no. But um, 
but you know what I'm getting to. Yeah, absolutely. With that sort of pruny, very dark yeah, sort of the mushy sort. Of, and, yeah, and and the sweetness that you're getting in a, in a, in a young uh, Chimay Blue at this stage is pretty much gone. I would say that there's a slight. It's very refined. It's, it, I mean, what's so stupidly clever about this beer, or insanely brilliant about it, is the fact that despite its very heavy alcohol colours, um, it really is so incredibly delicate. It's, it, it's an extreme beer. We talk about, we talk about extreme beers, you know, all the time. You know, with the American, well, we always associate it often with American, these new wave craft brewing. This is extreme beer. But this goes back centuries. Um, it really is incredibly Christmas. Christmas, yeah, you're getting that sort of plum Christmas pudding type yeah. sort of thing going on, don't you? There is alcohol there, of course, it's there, but it's kind of really soft alcohol, not not sharp at all. Very soft, wonderfully clever beer. Um, maybe a tad too warm, actually. San Diego weather let me down a little bit there. Um, in terms of rating, Trev, I think in the past I've been up towards 4.8, 4.7, 4.8. I'm going to stick there, somewhere like that. I think I'm going to go something like 4.7 on this one. Um, it's a classic. Is it deserving of its reputation? Absolutely, as far as I'm concerned. I do think if that this is about long enough, personally for me. I think anything longer than this, and this beer is actually going to start getting a bit tired. Mm. I think it has lost a little bit of its vitality. Uh, but having said that, that kind of weight and that kind of leathery, aged... Feel. If you like that sort of thing, uh, it's spot on uh, right now. Really interesting stuff. As I say, there's not many bottles of this coming out, so if you do see it, um, then make sure that you grab a bottle of this Chimay Blue 2003. That's it for now. I'm going to go back to the Craft Brewers Conference uh, in America. In Jeff. America. Uh, I'm probably going to go um, and do I'm still surfing. around your house and your wife just come home. Am I invited in for dinner, do you think? Yeah, you can do, but don't please don't let what happened what happened last time okay. that's all I, all I can say about okay. that my lawyer will be in touch with you uh, I'm off to surf now <laughs> and to eat pomegranates or whatever they do over here in California pomegranates where did they come from don't they eat pomegranates no or, or pomegranates yeah fruit you know it's America mate it's a brave new world Till next time everyone cheers and peace <laughs>